welcome back and I hope you had a good Christmas. Today I'm going to show you which apps you need for your EV or Tesla and I'll show you which ones I use. Do you need 10, do you need 20 or can I get away with 5? Stay tuned, I'll let you know. So these are the apps I use and we've got ABRP, WhatsApp, Podpoint, Zapmap and EV.energy. I'll go through each of them and just give a quick overview. The one I tend to use most is EV Energy because that's the one I use to monitor cost of charging the car and also for scheduling charging of the car. I tend not to use the in-car system because this app does it for you. These are all free so uh, no, no charge required. It's quite an easy interface so here you have options of uh, showing electricity used, energy costs, carbon intensity and reward points. So electricity used here, you can see all the kilowatt hours that the car has been uh, charged up by. And it will show you the way you've been charging and how long you've been charging. So this was 11 o'clock this morning to half past three and it shows you the carbon intensity, electricity used and energy costs. I should have charged for 10 kilowatt hours, for, for every 10 kilowatt hours that are charged you get at one point and for 20 points they will send you a five pound Amazon voucher. Also shows you the cost, so I pay 16 pence per kilowatt hour, you can see there, and again it will show you for each charging session how much it costs. Carbon intensity, low, medium, high, depending on I guess what time of day you are charging and also how much, how the, you know, the volume of energy going into the car, quantity of energy going into the car. And then reward points as well, so earning quite a few reward points which is good. You can also schedule at the start time uh, there's only one time you can't schedule twice a day, you have to change it. And also won't preheat the car. I have raised this with the EV Energy people and they said that's a good idea. They will mention it to their uh, tech team, see if it can be included. At the moment it just preconditions the battery, preconditions the car, doesn't preheat the car. So you have to go into the Tesla app and preheat the cabin, the steering wheel and seat and everything. Stats is quite good for yearly cost and 30 day cost and 24 hour cost as well so you can see that one rewards is good so i've got eight points now for 20 reward points uh, they will send me a five pound voucher and you can also get a invite code so if you use this code and they will send you 25 reward points once you finish your first charge over 10 kilowatt hours I get 25 reward points and you get 25 reward points. So I'll leave the link in the description as well and the code. But I use this quite a lot for managing the car, the cost of the car, and working out when I should charge and how much it's all going to cost, which is really good. The second one I use is ABRP, which is quite good for supporting or measuring or you know working out your route It'll put all the charges, show all the charges and the destination, where you need to charge, when you need to charge, how much you need to charge for. Loads of details in here as well, it's quite quite in depth here as well, which is good. But it's pretty accurate. I've calibrated it against the car details as well, so it'll tell you what state of charge you should start and end with. The other one I use is pod points, so This is quite good for showing pod points in the area. Tesco's, you can get uh, free charging for some of them as well. So, I don't know, your overall superstore, no cost. And you can go in there. So if you're unfamiliar with an area or you are traveling somewhere, it's good to find your nearest pod point again. Zap map again, is good for if you're traveling somewhere, not sure where the nearest charges are, you can filter this to different types of charges, whether they're paid for, speed, etc. Really, really good for quickly finding a local charge point. And WhatsApp is, I've filtered it for fast charging, so it will display all the 50 kilowatt hour or higher 
charges. So if you want a quick charge, this app will show you where they all are on your route. So they're the five I use. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of other ones you can download, but these are free. I use them fairly regularly, and they just support the in-car sat-nav as well. So I hope you found that useful. It shows the apps that I use and the ones I use most often uh, to supplement the in-car sat-nav and energy points that you can uh, search video. for. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.